Good evening, it's Leafion here and I'm giving you a quick tutorial from begin to end and on how to get your models from your mods or whatever mod into Mine Animator and be able to animate them. It's actually very easy, you need to program, it's called Blockbench. Let me uh, drag that over here, one sec, Blockbench, it's blockbench.net and you download it here and then you click installer and whatever which one you need and start installing it. It's very simple and you also need mine animator obviously so mine animator let me drag that over here as well it's here on downloads you can install it here or I would if you prefer at least you could also go down here and download the beta version and so forth now once you have downloaded these we obviously also need a mod I'll be using Cobblemon as a example so I'll download this. I already downloaded it. You can download it on a mod grid. Let's drag that over. Oh gosh. It's a very big list of downloads. Right. Now that we have done that, you can always treat a YAR file as a zip. So right click it, open, and open as a zip. Let's have a peek. We're gonna go into uh, assets. And then depending on whatever mod you're using, there should be a separate folder here and we need to peek into that. Since it's Cobblemon, we're looking for a Pokemon. We're going into Cobblemon. Now, we need two different types of files here. We first of all need the model and the textures. So we'll start by looking for the textures. Uh, no, sorry, the model. And for that we go in Cobblemon into Bedrock. And Pokemon, models. And we'll be using Leafeon as a example. So let's have a peek. Over here, there's Leafeon. Let's make sure that in fact there's a JSON file in here. Um, we're just gonna make it a bit easier and drag the folder here. And then we'll go back um, towards, all the way back to here. Once again, click on the mod name. And then models, sorry, textures, um, Pokemon. And it should be the same name of uh, the model we've just found. So here you can see two pictures. I'll teach you how to alternate uh, between those after we have imported it into model bench. Uh, mine animator. Alright, now we have all the files we need. Let's open block bench. Just click on open model and then click on the JSON file. For some reason it says GEO here, don't mind it, you can technically just open it like that. Now don't be afraid, this is normal, this is part of the experience. Um, why this is happening is that we haven't imported our uh, textures yet. You don't have to do this, but if you want to do it, you can already import them here to see maybe if the model or the textures are correctly aligned. So you can obviously do that here and import textures and uh, click the textures that were aligned with it. All right, it's looking good. This is the Leafion we wanted. Now go into File and Plugins, and you need a m plugin that's called Mine Emator. You should technically find it here. It's uh, since I already downloaded it, it's not showing up, but it should show like this. And then just click Install, quick and easy. And then once you have done that, click on File, Export, and Export as a Mine Emator Me Model. We'll save it at the same uh, place. And that's legit it. It's already done. All we have to do now is um, go into Me Animator and um, import our model. Let's wait for the program to start. Mm -hmm. Let's open a project. And then under the workbench, custom model and then model browse we'll go to our tutorial folder and as you can see there is now a me model folder click on that it's already assigned with the texture but as i said there was a shiny version of it so you can go under textures and then you can also add the shiny version so you can alternate between them and then simply import there we go now obviously um, the model should already be rigged up so you can already move around the particular stuff around as you can see here. Let's, uh, let's make it do a small little pose. Let's move his head a little bit. 
There we go. Very cute, but that's simple as that. You can do this with almost every model inside your mod folder. But I hope this was helpful. Leave a like if it did. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Have a nice day and take care.